storms erupting all the way across the country Wales, Coventry, Midlands. We had some in Leeds in Yorkshire earlier on. I'm here at Fowl Coast, northwest of South of Blackpool, and I've got this nice little feature that was throwing down lightning, but it's gone quiet, which is fine because there's some stuff coming from Coventry. Uh, the Midlands moving the way up Wrexham. I'm hoping they're going to start to push the way a little bit further west and the more encroached into my area because I am so up for chasing. This year has been terrible for me as regards storms. That's been for the past couple of years, really. Some are going on, some are we don't know about. I mean, right now, this, this should be throwing down some fizzy action. We should be hearing it, but it's not. So I'm hoping the Coventry stuff does. If you've got content anywhere in the country, anywhere in the world, in fact, even if it's snowing, please post it on the weather fans facebook page and share it with us all tell us where you are especially don't just put the pictures and the content on there tell us where you are <laughs> well, this had a lovely war cloud over winter hill bolton way don't know if you had any action over there look there's a lot of rain there it was at the back of it i'm a bit covered there but this is my great famous little spot uh, near Wharton, where I love to come <clears throat> and uh, and chase these storms. I'm hoping they come to me rather than me going to them. Very low, very low. Could be rotation. They've, they've put out a bit of a tornado warning. Um, there's some great features that are above me. I mean, they are dirty, smoky skies. I mean, they should be lining in this. What's going on? Is there something going on we don't know about? Um, great features behind me up there as well. Scuddy cloud for fun. Um, there should be some stuff coming out of Wrexham from Coventry that should have a, a bit of a bite in it. Wind's picking up, trees are going. I'm not surprised really, there's a lot of rain to come so I'm going to have to dash inside the car. Can't see Southport now, Southport's disappeared. That's going to be here in a couple of minutes. I'm just trying to do a time lapse uh, of that feature over there. Oh, it's just, where's the thunderstorm? Where is the thunderstorm? Do you know where the thunderstorm is, Claire? This, that is a feature and a half over there, that's so low lying down there. But it's coming more this way, it's tracking more west now, it's looking better. I mean, honestly, it stopped raining, went off another brew. Uh, uh, mate Stu and Cheryl's thank you and uh, there's some cells like dead cells that have just floated past us no energy in whatsoever I'm puzzled is it me am I looking into this too much because I don't know about you but the past couple of years the storms we had that massive one in Cumbria which was ace but that was an unusual rare event but the past couple of years 
we've had these stead cells that should be producing. Netweather been putting warnings out. Metchet put warnings out. Uh, further south Midlands, you've had some that have happened, but they just die really quick. Kent Clippers and stuff like that coming from France, whole different story, completely different. But the homegrown stuff that should be migrating up towards the north, um, oh, midges are coming out now. Um, just ain't keep, they just not keep going. They're not keeping going. And there's no cooperation with them. There's no unification, unification, whatever the word is, uh, where the, you know, these cells come together, you get a line of them coming together. That's what happened today. Like they'd come together and they were moving north and then within half an hour, bashed, they've gone. Um, I don't know what's going on. I mean, they reckon, don't they, that, I mean, I've never talked about climate change. I've never talked about net zero or anything like that. Um, I've never really put my head above the parapet on that. I do have my particular, my particular views about stuff like that, and I don't want this video to go too deep. But, I mean, there have been some funny memes that have been going out and funny pictures and stuff that are going out about climate change. Italy's pulling out of the Paris climate. Uh, is New Zealand uh, doing something similar? Canada are thinking about doing something similar, going back to coal, you know. Um, is it true, you know? I do think we have an effect on the climate, but it is a proven scientific fact that if Britain was to sink into the sea, it'd have no effect on the climate globally, no effect at all whatsoever as regards our carbon footprint. And I think we're a lot more energy efficient and healthier today than we've ever been. Do you remember all the energy saving bulbs coming out in the 80s and 90s? Use these, your fridges are better rated and all this effort and money has been put in, yet we're still apparently um, ruining the atmosphere, the climate. I don't know. I'm not happy about it. I never really believed in it in the first place because the weather is a massive machine. And I think we're trying to run before we can walk as regards being more energy efficient. I am all for um, using renewable sources. I think that is definitely the way to go. But the way we're doing it is not, is not the path we should be going on. And you've got new stories about Ed Miller Band uh, doing cloud seeding. I mean, it's a fact they do do it. Is this what's happening? Is there some cloud seeding going on that's interfering with these storms? I mean, we had such a great summer, uh, spring, and then the summer's turning again into a lot. Of, I don't know. Really don't know. If you know anything, I want to join the conversation. Please keep it civil. And by all means, put it in the comment section area down below because it's now coming out that the Arctic ice, is it the Arctic ice, is actually growing, not shrinking. They're finding fish stocks have migrated rather than depleted where they were. There's coral reef that actually is growing. You know, the temperature getting warmer on the planet is a natural process because we've had mini ice ages. We've had ice ages. We've had warming trends and it is a massive machine. That up there is a huge, huge machine. And I honestly think there's something, something not right. Uh, I think, to be honest with you, I'm gonna be honest with you now. I think with this net zero business um, and all this funding as regards shutting down small farms and solar panels and all this lot, I think that's where the real harm's gonna happen. That's where the interference is going to happen with the planet. And I might lose subscribers and I might not make very many friends by saying that. But look what happened with the ozone back in the 70s and 80s. It's like ozone who? <laughs> it was Al Gore said in 1996. The, you remember the president, uh, President Giza? Uh, was he called Al Gore? He said that by 2025, we'd be burning in the sun. Doesn't like I'm burning right now. You know, I'm all for it getting warmer. Uh, yeah, we'll get more extreme weather. Of course we will. It's just an, it's a big engine. It's just a process. You know, people will suffer. But I really think we should be putting the money in preventative measures, defensive measures against Mother Nature, rather than trying to interfere with it and harness it with cloud seeding and all the rest of the stuff, covering our green land with solar panels and wind turbines. You know, I think we need to look at this a little bit more in detail.
and be more honest with ourselves and work with Mother Nature rather than against her. Well, that went different, didn't it? That's a different video that you're not normally used to by Nodrock. <laughs> I think it had to be said joining the conversation. Let's have a conversation uh, down below and uh, hopefully we'll have a little bit more action. Before you disappear, um, listen, I've got another channel, just a normal Nodrog channel. Uh, there's going to be some uh, historic uh, history videos on there about Blackpool, my hometown, uh, that I want to start filming, which should be really exciting about the mystery and the history of Blackpool. And also, I've got a couple of venues as well as we've got Spookies. Uh, Drovers Inn and East Drive in Pontefract, Yorkshire, as regards doing some Spookies. So if you're inter interested in all that stuff, please click the link in the description area down below. Please support me on Patreon. Please support me on uh, membership because, trust me, the money you make on YouTube is crap. Uh, and the money that is made helps to pay to keep that vehicle and my 4x4, which is off the road at the moment, um, on the road and keep it going full storm chasing the stuff it seems to be getting the priming pulp bulb uh keeps going soft it's getting air in the fuel i've been to two garages they can't work out what it is i need it for work um but yeah it really does anything you contribute really does help towards the channel i stash it i make a note and it goes a lot of it on fuel uh and, and jammy dodgers <laughs> you know a bit of a treat now and then but other than that, I think I'm done as regards these storms. Very pretty clouds, good time lapses that I've been able to get. Uh, and it's always nice to have a little bit of a catch up with you guys as well. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe. That's the least you can do. And until next time, it's pointless keeping my batteries charged because I don't think much else is going to happen. Ta-ra. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs>